True to the slogan of live, love, and learn maths, this master of maths has not only made maths easier for all his students to understand, but also takes an enormous amount of effort to make his students truly love the subject. The excellence of this true master of maths is proven with the massive amount of A's he produces annually, making him the undisputed leader in this field. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome the founder of Master Academy, the master of maths himself, Rizlan Hassan sir, on stage to address the gathering. Respected chief guest, guest of honors, dear parents, and my beloved students. Good afternoon for you all. Um, first of all, my apologies. Like, uh, whenever I have a public speech to make, something comes up. I think usually I'm prepared for everything. Uh, I can say sometimes over prepared as well. But when it comes to public speeches, most of the time, I always want to do a structured, proper public speech once in my life. But always something comes up. and. Uh, I never get the chance to script it out. So, uh, and uh, my friend Shazran has already set the bar very high. He did a wonderful speech. And uh, the crew has requested me to speak for 10 minutes. I have promised them 5 minutes. So, I'll keep this short. And uh, so, uh, mainly the reason is the last week completely. And I have to thank my two dear friends, Shazran, Rehab, and also our crew members. Uh, they pulled off this. Uh, enormous and also almost nearly impossible task of arranging everything and uh, all these things because of all these things we were quite busy in the last week that's what kept me personally away from preparing a speech I tried to draft one but even yesterday till midnight we all were working uh, to be honest the drama you all enjoyed a little while ago you won't believe it was like scripted rehearsed and uh, done within three hours of time <laughs> Uh, you wouldn't believe that, but that's how it happened. It was a very last moment thing. And uh, I will start by actually thanking, uh, sorry, not thanking actually, congratulating the winners, uh, those who have achieved really well in your exams. Uh, I don't have to exaggerate that very much because already they have all said why you all deserve this, the hurdles you have passed. I think the first act, the tri uh, trifactor speech winners very clearly mentioned why you all really deserve this and if possible even more. Honestly speaking, if we have the ability to do even a grand function where we can invite all the students in the country, regardless of whether they have studied under us or not, we would be more than happy to do that. Because not only our students, all the students who got good results, bad results, or even if they managed to barely pass, they all deserve a quite a lot of credit. Because even as an adult, I'm uh, kind of suspicious whether I can pull this off during Corona, during the economic crisis, during East attack, with all this, whether you can pull this off. So I'm not going to, uh, sorry for that, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to dedicate uh, the speech for you all. I think that is already done. Uh, I will dedicate this speech uh, for some other people who I think this was a last minute thought. Uh, and I will not be myself today because people who knows me know that uh, usually I'm not a very emotional person. I don't like giving emotional speeches. I'm that person whenever there is an emotional speech, I'll say cringe and look away. But I will be cringe today. I'll be giving you a little bit of a cringy speech, but uh, this is something I think I have to do and uh, something I have to do and it is my responsibility to do that I don't think, I, I am not sure whether I will get another stage to do this. Uh, so yes, and as I said, all of you know, those who know me know that uh, I can't actually compliment a person without insulting them right after that. That is one of my habits, my students know that because I kind of feel like insults are more honest, compliments are cheesy. Uh, but today I'm going to be a little bit different. So probably for once in my lifetime, you're going to hear a little bit of emotions from me. Uh, so I would like to dedicate this speech to my greatest teacher in my life. And uh, there are a lot of them. I can't name them all. But I picked one special teacher uh, who enlightened me and who actually brought me up to this stage. And uh, I will start by this. I'll tell why she is special. My greatest teacher have not done any master's, PhD, has not done any degree, has not done any A-levels, O-levels. She did up to grade three or four, I think, and uh, with her family situation and circumstances, she had to stop her studies. But 
that teacher actually did not tell me that she did not know anything she taught me everything i know and uh, she taught me everything i know starting from because as a parent now i realize how difficult it is to raise kids i don't have many kids i have only one yet probably forever but yeah uh, but um, still i feel like the responsibility i have to bring them up truly shows me their dedication and what they have done so for for all of us and uh, as i said she doesn't have a proper educational background but till i came to my you know adolescence i did not know that she always pretended like she knew everything she taught me the letters she doesn't teach me she basically lets me read and she pretends like she knows and she says and in between she tells you made a mistake gala and i think she knows that's how i was taught in the early stages even my quran my arabic everything she is the one who taught me and uh, i can still remember like you know uh, she beat the hell out of me for not writing tayanna properly okay i was so mad i have thought of running away from the house a lot of times okay has written poems okay but uh, today i really understand because i'm fluent in all three languages and that has given me a very clear definitive uh, advantage in many places that i can speak in all three languages sinhala tamil as well as in english and whenever i speak in sinhala sometimes i get compliments as well that your sinhala is so good all thanks to that tyan i messed up and that tyan my mom uh, actually corrected so uh, don't think that i am a really great son for coming here and doing this speech this is probably the only time i have uh, praised her because as you all know i'm not that good in praising anyone um even this i won't do but she has not been given the recognition for what she has done and uh, so i thought since i have this opportunity i will dedicate this speech to her for educating me with all her heart she <laughs> no i don't want to cry i don't like getting applause for crying i am not a crying person and uh, this is kind of embarrassing for me because i am very tough skinned okay this is just uh, sweats coming out so, yeah they wanted to me to do an emotional speech so i added some glycerin not natural tears okay. don't record this and yeah so why i uh, talk talked about my mom i could go on for years and years of all the hardship she has gone through i have not uh, said this to you directly i probably won't tell this to you again love you mom love you a lot um why i wanted to talk about my mother on this occasion is because i think we are praising the kids we are praising the teachers everyone and uh, i'm here to praise the parents because yes the kids went through so much we went through so much but behind that you all are the unsung heroes the fathers who had hard times because i know because my father had a hard time when he couldn't afford food he still paid for my books so i have seen those fathers among you all as well sometimes they are strict i to i'm telling you these things i'm being very open with you all because you all might feel the same thing as i said i have thought of running away from the house i have written poems i have been sad luckily we did not have whatsapp facebook or anything so we can put depressing quotes over there but yeah technically everything else we have done but um, now i realize okay, they have done their best in the way they could okay don't complain that they don't understand you instead try to understand them is what i could say including me everyone here we have to try to be better kids to our parents because if you all had to go through uh, what do you say financial crisis they are the people who had to suffer the biggest loss of that trust me as father i know i don't want to see that my kid can't get something she wants so i know the all the parents here they did their very best paying for your education paying for your shelter sometimes when they are not getting their best they still gave you the best so that can actually cancel out anything they do later on will be cancel out by the good deeds they are doing drawing you up to this stage when you become parents you will realize this but i hope unlike me 
you will learn quickly and before becoming parents you will realize this i hope and uh, so i really appreciate all the parents there even to, to this point because we kept it on a weekday and uh, some of you have come from very far away fathers especially mothers also leaving all your chores coming here to see your children succeed children please remember that okay, your generation and their generation are different obviously there will be conflicts obviously there will be difference in opinions but at the end of the day whatever they do it might be good sometimes it might feel like bad for you but in their deepest heart they are keeping your best interest in mind so uh thanking all the wonderful parents out here for bringing out the best in your kids you all are the true heroes not us not anyone else i really appreciate you you all applauded me for a couple of times i applaud the parents over here for doing this mammoth <laughs> task and uh, with this i'll wind up my speech thank you very much Thank you Rizlan sir for those inspiring words and for all of what you have done for us you have been and always will be a role model to all of us